Welcome back to the second edition of the Hockey Nation live show. It's a Thursday, January 14, 2021. The, the day number two of the NHL of 116 days. This is your host, uh, your coach, uh, Cold Frenchy, back in the house, uh, talking about all the breaking news happening today in NHL. So let's start right away. With the first one, it's coming for the Carolina Hurricanes. This situation is really unique. He was claimed by the team, by the Canes, a couple of days ago. And we know Anders Forsberg is, was with the Edmonton Oilers. So what he decided to do is this. He decided to stay at home in Edmonton in case he got claimed by a one team from the Canadian division so he don't have to go back to USA and return in Canada because what situation is going to happen in there is the quarantine of 14 days. So what he decided to do is stay in Canada for a couple of days and see if he's going to be back on the Texas squad, everything like that. So it's very really different, very, very unique, and we'll see what could happen um, for this um, situation with Anton Forsberg. The second one, this is just a funny thing. It's uh, the new look of the players for the Nashville Predator, Pete Forsberg. The new look captain. It's funny to see him this way. Um, I can't wait to uh, to see. I call him Peter Forsberg, honestly. It's Philip Forsberg. <laughs> I wish maybe it could be Peter Forsberg, maybe for Nashville. But uh, Philip is a, you know, he got hurt last season, ready to rock and roll the new, uh, the new season. He start to play tonight again the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we wish good luck for Philip, not Peter. Philip Forsberg. There's another breaking news. This is coming from Florida Panthers. Um, I call this like a trade bait because Kate Yandel is in the situation where he cannot be put. Is first of all, he's out of the top six defense for the team. So he has an NMC, so a no movement contract. So he cannot be back. He cannot be, first of all, on the waiver. He cannot also be on the Texas squad. He has to stay on the, on the full roster for the Florida Panthers. Now, remember, he has over 800 um, straight game in NHL. So I don't know if it's 822 or 855. I cannot recall it, but could be on Gilbert, Gilbertie right now because the Panthers not see him to be at a part of the, of the first game um, again, the Dallas Stars. So it's a, it's a story we have to follow up uh, with the Panthers and see uh, what happening with Keith uh, Yandel. Now, he could be trade, but again, his problem is his he has a high salary, uh, over $6 million. Not many teams at that situation with COVID and the salary cap can afford to have uh, Kate Yandel. So it's another subject, a story we have to follow up the next couple of days. The, the next one, and this is a big one, it's um, John Tatarola today, the head coach for the Columbus Blue Jackets, said, yes, Pierre-Luc Dubois said to everybody he wants to get out of the Columbus, he wants to get trade, he requests a trade, and now all the rumors start from Montreal Canadiens, go to Winnipeg Jets, they all may be, well, first, they all may be the one where um, Dubois request, well, not request, but ask uh, maybe to go get trade. Uh, he put Montreal first at the top. Now, Montreal for many years <laughs> didn't have a no center. We know Philip Deno was maybe the only one. And then last year, uh, at the end of the year, um, the rookies and also Kokanemi, Suzuki and Kokanemi have a great playoff. They flourish, they get better, and now they become the center. Now they, their line of center, it's not bad. They have Deno, Suzuki, and Kokanemi. So I don't know if they can afford, of course they can afford uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Now they could also get him, and now they talk about friend situation, maybe Dano plus uh, Caulfield, and maybe a trade uh, with a draft could be a, a trade for Dubois. I don't know. I'm not sure now. The scenario also Winnipeg is another way where Patrick uh, Laney 
and Roslo, uh, Russell's Vic is not happy with that, could also be a threat with Winnipeg. So it's a story. I really believe this situation with Dubois is going to be fixed very quickly. They're not going to hang in this for months or weeks. Could be something maybe seven next or 10 days, but it's another subject or story to follow up. Uh, you know, John Tortorella is another guy go around. Um, he's a, he went straight to a press conference to mention the situation with Pierre-Luc Dubois. The next breaking news is an easy one. is um, Jack Quinn, uh, the Buffalo Sabres, uh, announced today they put Jack Quinn on the taxi squad. He's not going to be released to the AHL. And we know those kids... Uh, got draft uh, in 2020 by its front team in NHL. Could not be returned a lot on the junior team because they don't play yet. So um, everybody is does not have no game. And many teams in NHL right now keep them, most of them with the Texas squad, could be also returning AHL, sent to AHL, American Hockey League. So it's another situation with Buffalo start tonight. Um, a game against the Washington Capitals would be very interesting to see Tyler Hall. And my next video will go talk about the preview of the, all the 10 games tonight in NHL. The next breaking news is the injury report is coming to Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, first, we already know uh, Seabrook is on the you know long term injury reserve, and then they add today the captain Jonathan Toes. And the rookie or the young man, the young man, uh, Kirby Dak, joined Seabrook on the long um, injury uh, reserve list. So um, it's another situation with Chicago. Are, is they going to have a very difficult year, unfortunately, with all the injuries? And also, the situation with the, uh, between the pipe and the, as a goaltender is not going to help. I don't think Subban and Dillian, the really other rookies can hanging there full time, 56 game. Um, going to be a long season in the, for Chicago. The next breaking news coming from the St. Louis Blues. Yesterday, first game last night, Sammy Blay uh, hit the head of the Devon Toes during the game. He has an earring today with the NHL. At that moment, around 5 o'clock, I do not have any update about his situation. He's going to be suspended. He's going to have an MN. We don't know yet, but it's another story we have to follow up with him. If you see the contact, uh, honestly, Blay, uh, Semi Blay uh, hit the head of the Devon Toes. So um, from the Colorado Avalanche, who has surprised me, Avalanche last yesterday against St. Louis Blues 4 1. Um, McKinnon was. Did not do very well over there yesterday, but again, it's very difficult to see that. Um, very difficult game for them at the, the first game of the year. The next breaking news, this is a story about, I want to talk to you. I'm going to show you a video. Um, you know, a couple of months ago, we lost one of the icon, a legend. You know, when you talk about Edmonton Oilers, we always talk about Wayne Gretzky, but... Yeah, people behind the scene do an amazing job, and many teams in NHL and around NHL. He, he was one an icon, not only with the Edmonton Oilers but also with the Edmonton Eskimos. And tonight, Sportnet have a nice um, reporter a report about him. They have a nice show at eight thirty Eastern time, and I want to show to you uh, this um, trailer about the last. So it's a really sad news, honestly, and it um, would be great to see uh, what Sportnet did tonight. And uh, yesterday, the Edmonton Oilers uh, under him by wearing a special jersey at the warm-up. Uh, every player wear the name of the Moss in, uh, behind the, in the back of the jersey. And um, thank you, Edmonton Oilers, to um, honor one of maybe one of the best in the in the NHL Um with the Edmonton Oilers, Joey Moss. So uh, thanks again to uh, watching us today. Uh, before we leave, I just want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also on the Facebook page. We bring you all the breaking news quickly we, we got from them. We, we bring back to you on the Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel. 
And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And just want to remind you, every day, 11 o'clock, about 11 o'clock Eastern time, me and my co-host, Michael DeVellano, we talk about everything about the NHL Monday to Friday. We just want to uh, having you with us and don't hesitate to reach us, to leave us some message. And if you want to join uh, our show, you're welcome to join us and uh, we would love to having you. So thanks again for watching us today. We wish you an amazing, great Thursday. See you tomorrow. <laughs>